Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Battle of York which is what we call in the spell. The Kingdom of Denmark has landed with a powerful army and ready to do battle with King William who has marched to York in an attempt, attempt to defend the English plain of York and kick some ass. <laughs> so yeah, he's by this point King William has taken control of all of England and is now preparing to attack to defend from um the king for the king the greedy Denmark king. So Stenia still six point three. I'm not I uh, can't I couldn't update to six point four, so I don't know why that is. But um I don't mind. I've played on six point three for a while now so I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably most likely do a series with 6.3 or maybe 6.5 if that ever comes out, but I doubt it will. But we'll definitely do a campaign for the early era campaign and the late era campaign. So, yeah, the Kingdom of Denmark army has Shurik, Foot Knights, Norse War Clerics, Field Foot Knights, Viking Huskarls, which is some of the troops that they found from, um, they recruited some of them, the guys that were with um, King Harold Hadrada's army, who have joined with the Denmark forces. Along with a, uh, a bastard of um, King Harold Hadrada's uh, bastard. Along we have um, the. I think it's these guys. Some general unit. Some heavy swordsmen, footmen at arms. Dismounted King's Men and Feudal Foot Knights, so yeah. This is a Battle of York, they're on the defensive, so we'll be playing as Denmark for this, to charge up the hill and... or charge up and smack them and take them down and take... England, or take over Britannia, which I think is, um... what, um, the King of, King of Denmark is. I have to look up the King, the King of Denmark and what's his name, so I can, um, put that in the description for this battle. So yeah, all descriptions have a uh, battle thing that tells you about the years and dates of the battle and a bit of descriptions and scrap. Most of you probably don't read it, but I'm sure sure some of you do. Right, let's do this. Yeah, this is um stainless steel. So they are players a program players of Byzantine Empire and try and reform the Roman Empire for the late era campaign because that's a really hard campaign because uh, you get attacked by the Venice on the western side of Hungary come down and attack you and and the Turks come from the west and you don't have Constantinople to generate you enough income so it's a bit of a dodgy battle uh, yeah I don't really give a shit about that so we look at the troops there's a king, good and badass. <laughs> this is troops, North War clerics, they're pretty cool. Love the skins, not gonna lie. Pretty nice skins, Viking Huskals. Feudal Foot Knights, so yeah. It's gonna be a big battle for England, uh, I think. <laughs> yeah, we'll pull them back a bit and put the king in front. So yeah, if this king dies, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> right, bring it on, bitch. Good look at the English army. So the both kings sound far apart from each other. King should be wearing his crown. Moving forward, move him up. Recharge fearsomely towards him. We will have to be at the attacker, there's no way of avoiding that. I'm 
Yeah, we need in position. Look at the army. Where's King William? There he is. So yeah, the English army is very powerful, very like strong. I'm ready to fight with them. That's for sure. So yeah, it's, it's a very interesting little battle. So I don't know what like AI is anything. So yeah. Okay. Well, we charge forward at them. We'll finish um, what all these kings have started. We will finish the succession crisis <laughs> and hopefully end it. Good opening charge. They're ready for fight. There they come. Let's hope your English banner survives this. Big fight now. For Denmark! <laughs> for everything! Attack! This is a very good charge, not going. I thought I said one army in. Right, here they come. This is going to be a big battle now. Sound that horn. Couldn't sound that horn any fucking louder, Jesus. <laughs> How good battles will stain the steel were absolutely brilliant. It's a good battle. Kill that man with the flag. If we can. Kill that. The English might actually outnumber us, but yeah. Funny king where he went if he's over here somewhere. Right in the middle. So there he's over here somewhere.
All right. There's one big, uh, big charge right now. Only half the enemy force remains. Why is that in some sort of Islamic voice? <laughs> but, uh, custom battles don't really work with mods, so it's rarely you find one. That's actually that good. Oh shit! They're off. <laughs> First signs of rout. These guys are rout, and um, these guys are not. We just encircle them. That might not be a bad idea. Soon circle them. Find that king and kill him. <laughs> My lord, only half of our force remains. Uh, this may actually be a victory. Holy shit. Do I get a victory? <laughs> that charge with luck, really. Now it's up to the King William men if they stay hard, hard on the truth and power until they win this I think the king will run is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory the enemy general lies dead. No. Nope. Have sent the core to hell. <laughs> That's uh, King William dead, so we've won. <laughs> That's basically it. We won, really. Easy victory, I guess. English armies ran riot and most most likely run for their lives and probably disband themselves and live alone in the countryside away from all the wars. And now the the blue line will sit the throne of England. <laughs> I fulfill what Ragnar Lothbrok never did, so yeah, or what he nearly did though, if he wasn't far off doing it. Shit, they're not done yet. This fucker's down here. Need to um, yeah, they've run. I didn't think they'd stick around long. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. I'll put them in the AI control so I can chase after them. Hey you know, Denmark did lose quite a lot of men, but he's taking England. England is now his, so yeah. Who held the um? Who held Denmark? <laughs> yep, clear victory. We lost quite a lot of men. Not gonna. It was a dumb charge, really, but we could have been more outmaneuvered. But they did. We did have the same amount of numbers, so I call a very close victory, really.
Anyway, right, guys, I hope you. This is it. So, Kingdom of Denmark is now Kings of England now. So, yeah. <laughs> There's uh, none other to put that. I'm not really sure what battle we do next. Could be a battle against the Teutonic Order versus uh, for, like a, the Mongols or something. I'm not really sure. I would like to play as a Teutonic Order on a battle. Maybe maybe for Sainz still. Or we could go back to Westeros. I'll see. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this battle. The Battle of York, and it was a very fun. I quite enjoyed this battle actually. <laughs> Easy, clear victory, and kill it, killing the English uh, King William easily. With um, the arch, we, we did have archers for the Battle of the Stamford Bridge, that's what made the battle harder. But yeah, not gonna lie, this was a pretty awesome battle. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.